friends to get more scholarly handy lessons for school and competitive exams don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to like comment and share this video is on what were how and when the past chapter of our past part 1 of social science class 6 this chapter covers the topics like finding out what happened what can we know about the past where did people live names of the land finding out about the past one past or many what do dates mean apart from these topics we will also learn definitions of keywords complete notes on the chapter and search of in text and test book exercises interesting and additional information some important dates elsewhere etc in just few minutes we will now discuss all these topics one by one let's start with the first topic that is finding out what happened yesterday finding out what happened last year finding out what happened about long long ago finding out what happened yesterday we can listen to the radio watch television read a newspaper finding out what happened last year we can ask somebody who remembers finding out what happened about long long ago we can learn about past studying history the second topic is what can we know about the past we know about the past the points like food habits clothing sheltering professions or occupations living style etc concerning ancient people food habits that is what people ate clothing that is kinds of clothes they wore sheltering that is houses in which they lived professions or occupations that is lives of hunters herders farmers rulers merchants priests craft persons artists musicians and scientists living style that is game children played the stories they heard the plays they saw the songs they sang let us talk about the third topic that is where did people live people lived along the banks of the river narmada which is west of india people lived at the suliman and kirta hills which is to the north west of india people lived at the garo hills which is to the north east and the bindias in central india people lived on the banks of the river the indus and its tributaries which is to the north west of india people lived on the banks of the river the ganga and its tributaries called the sun which is to the north east of india along the banks of the river narmada gatherers hunters lived gatherers people who collected roots fruits and other forest produce for their food hunters people who hunted animals at the suliman and kirta hills people first grew crops such as wheat and barley reared animals like sheep goat and cattle and lived in villages at the garo hills some of the other areas where agriculture developed the places where rice was first grown are to the north of the vindhyas on the banks of the river the indus and its tributaries some of the earliest cities flourished on the banks of these rivers on the banks of the river the ganga and its tributary called the son here cities developed regions for traveling by the people for one part of the subcontinent to another through the journeys was dangerous at that times in search of livelihood to escape from natural disasters like floods or droughts to conquer other lands to carry valuable goods from place to place for business to offer instructions and advice on the way to discover new and exciting places let us know why do people travel nowadays or what did the difficult journey led to all this difficult journey led to the sharing of ideas between people these moments of people enrich our cultural traditions people have shared new ways of carving stone composing music and even cooking food let us know why south asia is often called a subcontinent although south asia is smaller than a continent it is very large it is separated from the rest of asia by seas hills and mountains hence south asia is often called a subcontinent friends to get more scholarly handy lessons for school and competitive exams don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to like comment and share let us talk about the fourth topic that is names of the land it is our country this is also known as india or bharat india the word india comes from indus 
called Sindhu in Sanskrit. The land to the east of the river Indus was called India. Bharat used for a group of people who lived in the northwest and who are mentioned in the Rig Veda, the earliest composition in Sanskrit. The fifth topic is finding out about the past. To find out about the past, the sources are manuscripts, inscriptions, archaeology, history. Let us discuss all these things one by one. Manuscripts, Latin word manu meaning hand, written by hand, usually written on palm leaf or on the specially prepared bark of a tree known as the breech which grows in the Himalayas, dealt with all kinds of subjects like religions, beliefs and practices, the lives of kings, medicines and science, epics, poems, plays, etc. Dealt with languages like Sanskrit, Prakrit and Tamil. Prakrit language is used by ordinary people. Inscriptions Writings on relatively hard surfaces such as stone or metal. Sometimes kings got their orders. Dealt with kings orders. Records of people what they did including kings and queens and records of victories in battle. Archaeology The study of remains of buildings made of stone and brick, paintings and sculpture. Those who study the remains of buildings made of stone and brick, paintings and sculpture are known as archaeologists. They also explore and escape to find tools, weapons, pots, pans, ornaments and coins. Some of these objects may be made of stone, others of bone, baked clay or metal. They look for bones of animals, birds and fish to find out what people ate in the past, plant remains survive far more rarely if seeds of grains or pieces of wood have been brought. They survive in a chair form. History Study of past is called history. The scholars who study the past often use the word source to refer to information found from manuscripts, inscriptions and archaeology are known as historians. One sources are found learning about the past becomes an adventure. So historians and archaeologists are like detectives who use all these sources like clues to find out about our past. The sixth topic is one past or many past and plural because the past was different for different groups of people. The lives of herders or farmers are different from those of kings and queens. The lives of merchants are different from those of craftspersons and so on. People follow different practices and customs in different parts of the country. People living in the Andaman Islands get their own food by fishing, hunting and collecting forest produce. By contrast, most people living in cities depend on other for supplies of food. Another kind of difference. We know a great deal about kings and the battles. They fought because they kept records of their victories. But generally, ordinary people such as hunters, fishing flocks, gatherers, farmers or herders did not keep records of what they did. Let us discuss about the seven topic that is what to death mean. The time is divided into two periods. That is, BC means before the birth of Christ and AD. Latin words Anno Domini means after his departure. By date, we mean the day, month and year. These years are counted from the date generally assigned to the birth of Jesus Christ, the founder of Christianity. CE is used instead of AD. All dates before the birth of Christ are counted backwards and usually have the letters BC added on. Sometimes BCE is used in instead of BC. Other keywords are soul, creep, language, decipherment. Source Different types of evidences drawn from manuscripts, inscriptions, coins, and archaeology. Script Way of style of writing 
of a language it consists of letters or signs language media of expression comes through speaking or writing decipherment the art of interpreting hidden writing friends to get more scholarly handy lessons for school and competitive exams don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to like comment and share thank you very much for watching